human factors are an important part of cybersecurity. Decisions by your personnel, both good and bad, can affect the security of your organization. This includes the way people make choices during daily routine tasks, especially when they're unknowingly confronted by a cyber attacker. Their choices influence the actions of an attacker or defender and the security of your organization. In a moment, we'll show you a known technique of social influencing that encourages people to act against their own interests. Then we'll show you ways to educate your team to decrease your risks against social influencing attacks. Tony Giles and Rhea Denzel are information security lead auditors and pen testers focused on open source intelligence and social engineering tools for NSF International. They have worked throughout the U.S. advancing and building information security awareness and helping companies reduce their cyber risks. The threat landscape is changing. We're starting to see more calculated phishing attempts through the utilization of mobile devices. But where it used to be just emails in the past, now it's mobile to mobile communication. This becomes yet another attack vector where information security is compromised and attackers can easily gather information right at their fingertips. So we have to keep in mind that as organizations continue to grow and add personnel to their team, each employee brings with them their own digital footprint. And this allows attackers access to very specific details to appear seemingly believable. As an example, companies can be targeted using mobile devices by spoofing a phone call between, let's say, a CFO and a CEO. You can add certain background noises to make the call seem more rushed and more real, and it might be the CEFO asking the CEO to wire money, or vice versa. Three phones, Rhea. Phones one, two, and three. We are going to use an open source tool to spoof a phone call between phone two and phone three using phone one. So we're running a, a software program now that would spoof phone numbers between calls, and we are going to Oh. Hello? Hello? And this phone is calling this phone, and we can see we've labeled it CFO or attacker. If I pick up and say hello, hey, hello. it's that phone on speakerphone. This type of attack is dangerous because it's not only just a business-to-business -business environment, but also a business-to-consumer environment. People will answer the phone when they know who's calling or respond to a text if they are familiar with the number. They'll also click on links. However, there's steps you can take to educate yourself and your organization to reduce your social risks. Multi-factor verification can be implemented to further protect user access. So this can be done by, for example, changing the communication platform. So in this case, if you get a request through a mobile device, you can verify it through an email or even call that person back using your office line. Understand that risks are dynamic and always evolving. As your business grows, the security risk to your information assets also grows. Let NSF International Second Party Services bring your organization the sense of security you need to operate in a world of uncertainty. Please call us today or visit our website to learn more. Whether you are protecting your own system or managing service for others, the professionals at NSF International can help with services tailored to your needs.